Hey everybody out there and welcome back to another comic book review. This time we are talking about Disney's Disney Kingdoms Seekers of the Weird issue number two. For those of you that had tons of questions after the first issue of this comic, because I'm not going to say that again because I'm going to get tongue twisted, I'm just going to call it Seekers of the Weird. Um, a few of those questions are answered. Uncle Roland, who we all thought was dead at the end of the last issue, is actually alive. He's legless, but he's alive. And we get a couple of explanations. We find out more info on the parents. Uh, we find out that Maxwell and Melody are the ones that have to travel throughout the museum while Uncle Roland kind of guides them uh, to bring specific items to a specific place so that they can get the coffin clock. Why? Because that's going to save their parents. And there were a lot of funny scenes in here. There's one where they're in the library and Uncle Roland's like, you have to catch a book in order for it to answer you. And the books are actually like birds. It kind of reminds me of Harry Potter, but it's not. So don't don't pick this book up saying, hey, Harry Potter. No. It just reminds me of it because like they grab a book, they ask it a question, the book has to answer. And then the artifact that they have to bring back from the library is this armchair, which basically walks on its own. You say, run forward. It says, yes, sir, and it runs forward. Um, they escape the librarian. Yes, there's a librarian monster. Go figure. And they take the armchair back to Uncle Rollin. There are things in the museum that are trying to stop uh, Melody and Max from uh, obtaining the uh, coffin clock as well. So now they don't only have to worry about the Shadow Society. They have to worry about what's going on in the museum, which is trying to prevent them from getting the coffin clock. Why? We don't know. And the ending actually leaves you wondering. The parents are called wardens. Wardens are the ones that protect all the stuff in the Museum of Weird, all the supernatural stuff. And um, in the end, they're actually warned by, I'm not going to tell you what, you have to find out in this book, but they're warned by people, they're warned by certain people, uh, not to collect the artifacts because they're basically going to doom the world uh, and basically the, the coffin clock needs to stay where it is or else they're going to destroy the world. I believe. I want to make sure it's destroy the world. Yeah, before you doom the world. So by, basically by trying to get the coffin clock, they're dooming the world. So there are forces that want to stop them from getting the coffin clock. Their uncle wants them to get the coffin clock so they can save the parents. And Melody and Max are kind of stuck in this, and they are still learning and trying to figure out everything that's really going on. They do get You do get a lot of answers in here, and you get new questions. And some questions from the first issue still need to be answered. So I guess that will happen in time. This is a nice series. I would definitely say a 3.5 out of 5 stars. Something I'd recommend if you're going into this thinking, Hey, it's Disney, Mickey, Goofy, something from Disney. No. No, no, not at all. No, no, not even one character from Disney. Disney is just basically taking the title of the book and the credit for the book. Marvel's producing it because obviously Marvel is owned by Disney. But this has absolutely zero characters from Disney um, in this book, at least so far. I mean, if there will be at some point, I have no clue, but I doubt it. This book seems to be its own little story. So this is just a story produced by Disney. So don't let the Disney logo fool you. This is not Disney. This is a comic book. It's just made by Disney. Instead of having Marvel's logo. Which it does have Marvel's logo. But it has Disney as it. Anyway. So 3.5 out of 5 stars. I leave it up to you guys if you'd like to check it out. I'm enjoying it for what it's worth. I believe it's only a 5 issue series. I could be wrong. I'm probably right. But I could be wrong. Anyway, don't forget to check out Comic Related and ComicFrontline.com. Together, we are your number one source for comic related news, reviews, and a whole bunch more. If you haven't already uh, subscribed to Comic Frontline on YouTube, please do. Um, this way, we're in your sub box, and you don't miss out on a single video because we do more than comic reviews. We do toy reviews. We do tons of other things. We've got Media Madness, uh, Comic Frontline Live. We've got millions and millions of different series coming out, coming uh, up and going on. Spring is coming so you know there's going to be some big event that we're going to be planning for spring. Conventions are going to be coming up soon and you know we're going to have some convention coverage as well so if you're not already subscribed please do. Anyway until next time everybody keep reading keep collecting and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care everybody.